Welcome to this painting tutorial. In this video we're going to look at how to paint a dark elf witch for Warhammer Fantasy. This was a more challenging video to make for me because I painted the face and it's something I do not do for tabletop, but you can get some tips on that in here if you need them. Once you get the skin tone and face down, the rest of the miniature is easy in comparison. If you like this video, please like, comment and subscribe and stay after the video to learn how you can support my channel. I'm going to start by priming the model in grey. For that I'm going to use Automotive Grey Primer from Rustoleum. This is a cheap primer, so if you're going to use this, use it very lightly. And also I'm going to use Liquitex Dry and Retarder, the liquid one, for thinning down some of my paints. I'm going to start by base coating Rackard Flesh onto all of the skin area. This has to be a very a thinned down color and very controlled uh, base coat because we don't want any crumbs or brush strokes around the model. So uh, the thinner you can do the base coats and the layers the better, but you'll need uh, more than just one coat, you'll need uh, at least two or three. Here I'm going to use Rayclan Flesh Shade and I'm going to thin it down with Lamian Medium, about one to one. and. This mix I'm going to use it to shade in all of the skin area around the model. This is very easy stuff. You don't need much of this uh, wash to really shade in. Try to just give it a barely a noticeable wash and that's it. Next I'm going to use yet again Racket Flesh to clean up the skin of the model and to leave the wash into the recesses. Uh, this time I'm just trying to pick the places that are uh, hit by light so I'm not really hitting the places that are facing down but I'm hitting most of the miniature and uh, most of the skin area just leaving the wash on the recesses and leaving some of the shadows to work with me and the miniature um, I use a very thin down wash for this model because it's a very pale skin and any change in tone and uh, color it's very noticeable if you just change it a little bit Next I'm going to mix Racket Flesh with Palette Witch Flesh and because the jump from Racket Flesh to Palette Witch Flesh is uh, too different and it's very noticeable I'm going to mix it with Racket Flesh and this time I'm just picking the places that are more uh, exposed to light the places that are upwards from the miniature and leaving the places on the shadow the other color Finally I'm going to use Palette Witch Flesh, as it is, and this time I'm just going to pick up all of the sharpest edges on the model, which could be the, cheek, the cheekbone, the, the ears, the collarbone, and places that you can see that are very uh, pronounced, and then make like a, a line between the white and the dark, you can pick those up. Now that I finished with the skin tone, I'm going to get into the face and I'm going to start with using black. Any black paint that you like, I use the Vallejo model color black and a fine detail brush and I'm trying to just uh, pick up the, the eyes with this color and also I'm going to use this color for all of the uh, black parts on the model. Um, you, what you're trying to do is just uh, basically go the eyes of the model and then with Pellet Witch Flesh I'm going to try to just put a little dot of white on the on the sharp points of the almond shape of the eye, each each one, to leave a black dot in the center. This is a little bit difficult, and uh, I and I didn't succeed on the first try. I did it like three times on each, so be very patient and uh, do your best to get the shape of the eye as best as you can. I also freehanded. The, the eyebrows and in this step I'm going to use Hoyt Blue and mix it up with Record Flesh to get very close to the skin tone but with a little tint of blue and paint on the top of the eye and in the bottom I'm going to use Corn Red and mix it with Record Flesh and with these two colors we're pushing the black around the, the eye 
we're pushing it back onto the eye socket and to clean it up and to make it look better. This corn red with record flesh was also used for the lips and the pallet witch flesh was painted on the, the teeth and that's pretty much it. Now that the face is done, the rest of the model is easier. I'm going to start with Celeste Grey and base coat the hair. It's pretty close to the primer color, but I need to clean up all of the places where I painted with the skin tone as well. And that's it. Next, I'm going to use Drukai Violet. And with this color, I'm going to thin it down with Lamian Medium just a little bit. At the end I decided to use it a little bit more heavily because it it didn't have a, as big as an effect as I wanted it. But uh, just thin it down a little bit with lemon medium to make it easier for yourself to uh, highlight with the next color because we're using very pale colors and we're not trying to overpower them with wash so that it, it's easier to paint next. Once that's uh, done and drying, I'm going to start painting the red around the model with corn red. And with this color I painted the dress. And I'm using a size 2 brush, a stable art store brush which has a very nice tip. And uh, I'm just picking up uh, all these places and base, coat base coating them. Next, Balthazar Gold is going to be used on the armor. Uh, parts of the decorative the uh, golden plates that are around the model. And I think uh, the last base coat is lead belcher. That's going to be used on the plates. Once you get that base coat done, uh, all of the miniature is already uh, blocked with colors. I'm going to use Agrax Earthshade to shade in all of the places on the gold where you can see uh, texture. And uh, you can go around the, the armor on the skin tone to give a very uh, subtle uh, line, some so subtle lining to separate the skin from the other places on the model. Just be super careful with this. Uh, don't overdo it and if you overdo it just uh, clean it up as soon as you can with another uh, clean brush. And that's it. Wolfen Grey, I'm going to use this color to highlight the hair on the model. Just try to pick up all of the hair strands and leave the washed uh, purple on the recesses. This takes a little bit of time, but it's not as difficult. Next, I'm going to use pure white scar to clean up uh, on the hair. I'm going to pick up the places that are upwards and that reflect more light. Just uh, try to pick up the curves and places where you think the light would reflect, reflect more from the hair. Next was that car red. I'm going to use it to give the first highlight to the red. On the skirt, I'm just trying to pick up the raised places on the red. And uh, on the and on the armor, I'm just uh, edge highlighting. I'm using a fine detail brush and I'm using the drying retarder to my advantage to help me edge highlight better. In the next step, I made a mistake and I showed you Evil Sun Scarlet, but it's actually Wild Rider Red. And Wild Rider Red, I'm going to use it to uh, edge highlight all of the red places around the, uh, the cloth and the armor plates. And this is just a very fine edge highlight that goes around the red. We're very close to finishing up. I'm going to highlight the black with Scape and Black Dinch. And with this color I'm going to pick up the places where light reflects most on the on the black. Just hold it under the light source and pick up all of the places that are reflecting light. 
as best as you can try to just pick one position and then uh, highlight those places where light is reflecting. Then I'm going to use downstone and with this color I'm going to pick the places that most reflect light on, on the same places where I highlighted uh, the first step and just try to be consistent and it looks pretty good. Next, Gehenna's gold. I'm going to use it to highlight the gold and uh, I'm using it on most of the gold area, just leaving the recesses on the previous color. And to finish up the model, I'm going to use Runefang steel and this color is going to be used on both silver and gold. On the silver uh, it's going to be edge highlighted and in the gold I'm just going to pick the brightest uh, spots to give it a very uh, bright highlight and that's it. And this is the finished model. I have to say I'm very happy with the way this model turned out. Uh, it was uh, very uh, fun to paint and to see it develop as I was painting. Um, the hardest part of course is the face, uh, but you can uh, just leave it washed and pick up the eyes with a solid color like white and leave them uh, white out and uh, that could look pretty cool as well if you don't want to paint the eyes as detailed as I did and uh, that's that's it thank you very much for watching this video I hope you found it entertaining and helpful and if you like it please like it comment and subscribe to my channel to see more videos remember that you can find me on Facebook um, link in the description below feel free to leave any comments and questions on the comment section below and if you would like to know how you can support my channel you can stay after the video to know how Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you on the next video. You stayed. Great. Thank you very much for watching my video and if you would like to further support my channel you can become my Patreon on Patreon. You can pledge as little as a dollar a month and you are helping me create more and better content. If you can't that's fine because you're helping my channel a lot just for watching and sharing but you can read all of the details if you follow the link in the description below. I hope you can spare a dollar to make this hobby of mine a job for which I can get paid. Thanks for watching and I hope to see you on the next video.